Hey guys, so we put the brackets on the bus last video. What do you say we put these solar panels together? Today I'm doing everything in the garage because it is a lot hotter than the last time I talked to you. And plus I need the space to lay everything down because what I'm gonna do is instead of putting the solar panels on individual uh, mounting brackets, I'm actually taking all of them and putting them together to make one. Now, it's kind of a gamble because they are pretty heavy and I don't know what they're gonna do when they're all put together and how heavy it's going to be for the actual brackets. So I might have to reinforce it and see what happens. But um, what I wanna do is I wanna lay these out, show you what I'm actually gonna do and what I'm gonna to do to get them together. And um, then go from there, see if it works out. So hang tight and I'll lay these out for you and I'll show you. All right guys, now that I got them laid out, I kinda wanna explain what I'm actually doing. So if you see, uh, let's see, one, two, three across. So imagine this right here is gonna be the front of the bus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt in between here, there, 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 all the main, uh, Aluminum parts I'm actually going to put together and put, um, let's see, these bolts straight through on each line. So here, there, probably three down or so. Um, and then when those are all attached together, I'm going to bolt these guys, the other half of the slotted angle iron underneath. So if you think about it, it's gonna go just like that. And this bottom half right here is gonna sit down on uh, the other ones. So when I actually put a bolt through these holes, I can lift it up, lift it down and lift it the other way like I was telling you before. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and mark them with the Sharpie and then drill a bunch of holes and hopefully this works out. <clears throat> okay guys, so I figured it out that I'm going to put a bolt every other tile. So for instance, I'm gonna show you, I'll just lay the bolts down. So I'll do one there, one there, one there, and then one there. So those will be the bolts that are gonna be holding it all together. So I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on this other side, I'll show you in a moment, but I'll do the same one. Uh, one, one, two, and probably another one. But uh, let me go ahead and mark these out and we'll see what it looks like. All right guys, so I have all the places marked out, but since this is a weird oblong shape, it's gonna need some extra rigidity. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these L brackets here and I'm gonna place them in between on the middle side for um, extra rigidity. All right guys, so I got everything marked out um, on all the panels. So now all I have to do is drill holes to um, put the screws through. But before I do that, I have this really cool um, automatic like spring uh, hole punch. It just kind of like sets in a hole. So when you drill, it just makes it easier and it catches on and you know exactly where you're gonna drill. 
So it's just a spring loaded, you just push down really hard and then it snaps it and then it puts a hole. Just line up, find the spot where you're wanting it. Let's go a little heavier. There you go. I don't know if you can see that because of the black marker, but it put a hole in there. I can barely see it, so the camera probably won't even pick it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this one here. All right, you can kind of see it on that second one there. It put a little hole there, but anyway, it put a little indent, that's all I need, and it will allow me to drill through it um, and do that. So I'm gonna drill these out and hopefully put them together and see how that turns out. So here we go. All right guys, now that I got um, all the holes drilled um, and uh, two batteries later, um, I'm gonna dry fit these um, and put all the screws in there and see if they all align just fine. And then um, we'll go from there next step. All right guys, check it out. I got them all uh, put together. So let's move you a little bit closer. Um, so, yeah, I have them all attached with bolts now, and it's pretty freaking um, It's pretty sturdy, but man, is it heavy. But you can see the grand scale and how big it is, just me standing next to it. So. Um, I do have these L brackets I'm going to put on here to keep this a bit more rigid. Um, and then when I put the, the slotted uh, L brackets across everything, hopefully it'll also get more rigidity. If I need to, I have brackets that I can put on the back of it to make it even more rigid. But it's way too heavy for me to actually... Um, carry it especially by myself but um what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it apart um piece it together uh, up on the bus and then move it on top so yeah we're getting there a couple more steps and we'll start getting some power hopefully Hey guys, it's another day. Um, once I fig uh, finished up with the solar panels, um, I uh, ran out of time and had to go do other things, but today's a new day. It's uh, a gorgeous day. It rained last night, so it cooled everything off, so it's very fall chilly weather now. So, uh, so today we're going to uh, try to get those solar panels up on the roof and uh, hook them to power. But uh, we'll see how that goes and how everything's been going. But um, let me show you what I'm going to be doing next. Now that I have these almost put together, um, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to wire these all in uh, series, which allows me to um, connect it into my MPPT charge controller. Um, and this just, I don't have to have any special adapters. All I have to do is put, you know, the positive into this negative, and then this positive into this negative, and then this positive into that negative. And then that will leave me with, with two, um, a positive on one side and then uh, a negative on the other. And that's what will connect um, underneath the bus and um, go from there. So I'm gonna just take these apart and snap those together. And then hopefully flip this over and put it on top. So now that I got that, um, those all connected together, I'm gonna take this inline fuse um, and connect that to my positive terminal, and then that will go into the positive line down to the batteries. like so. Hey guys, so as you can see, I got the solar panels on the other side of the, the hatch, but unfortunately they don't fit. They're just, I mean, maybe that much off. Um, and I think I'll be able to fit them, but I need a second person and I just can't do it by myself right now. They are um, up and then they're, you know, I don't have to really bolt them down. They're not going anywhere and I'm not driving the, the bus anywhere. So they'll be fine where they're at until I actually get to the point to where I can um, bolt them down. Um, so for now, they're up there, they're connected. Um, and once I get them all said and done, we'll connect them to the MPP ch uh, charger. Um, that way we can get some power in here and keep moving on and working towards that. Um, so, but today I'm, I'm going to cut it short and um, I want to just thank you guys for once again watching and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks.